Weather radio was initially developed in the 1960s to inform ships of adverse conditions as they approached ports, but greatly expanded after the Palm Sunday tornado outbreaks of 1965 in the Midwest and 1994 in the Southeast. Realizing that it was an effective way to alert the public of incoming weather threats, hundreds of transmitters were added to broadcast important weather information across the country. The goal was get to about 95% coverage, which we are there today. And that's what prompted in North Dakota us going from six weather radio transmitters to 18, again, to cover more of the population. Each transmitter broadcasts more localized information to the about 50 miles that its range is. We like to say that weather radio is the voice of the National Weather Service. The broadcast is 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Any time, any second of any day you want to know what's going on in the weather in your area, all you got to do is click the button on that weather radio and it's at your fingertips. Across North Dakota tonight. And Thursday, the snow melt gets going in full swing. I think the most critical use of weather radio is in life threatening situations winter blizzards. Summertime, severe thunderstorms, tornado, flash floods. When these kinds of warnings are issued for your location, the alarm on the weather radio will sound. It's just sitting there monitoring, and if a warning is issued by the National Weather Service, it'll receive the code and activate the alarm and broadcast the warning to you. It's almost like if you could program a radio that when your favorite song comes on that radio station, the radio turns on. That's kind of what weather radio is for severe weather. This can wake you up at night and serve as a backup to your phone's alerts, especially if there are power outages as the weather radio can run on batteries. For your news leader, I'm Jacob Morse. You can buy a weather radio at some electronics and department stores or online, starting at about $35. Now that might be a great present for some of those weather lovers, Henry. Absolutely. You can always download our First One Weather app as well. It's good to have as many notifications as possible. If your phone goes down, you can always have your NOAA weather radio 